it is today's closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange. The Dow Jones uh, had a, sort of an, uh, a good day today. We're happy to see that up about 300 and, and plus points. The S&P 500 was up nearly half a percent and the Nasdaq was down nearly a quarter of a percent. Keith Naughton is an automotive reporter for Bloomberg and he joins us now to discuss the markets. Keith, interest rates on loans uh, for new cars, and let's talk cars, spiked last month. Uh, what was driving that? And pardon the pun, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of automotive puns we can have fun with here. Uh, you know, what's going on is, is the federal funds rate has been going up. You know, the Fed's been trying to tighten uh, the funds rate to tame inflation. And what that's done is driven uh, auto loan rates through the roof. Uh, and the banking crisis has also made uh, credit just harder to get. So qualifying for a car loan right now is more difficult. So that's kind of an overhang. It's what car dealers say is the biggest obstacle to car sales right now, a roadblock, if you will. There's yeah. another pun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't keep up with you guys. You know, I'll just ask it straight. With uh, with these auto loan rates increasing, we saw it going from around five to now eight. Uh, I imagine that this is uh, impacting car sales in a really negative way. Can you quantify that a bit for us? You could say it's decelerating. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it only gets better. Okay, I'll put the pedal to the metal here. What um, what <laughs> what it does is you know it just adds thousands to the cost of a car loan, and that that's turning people off. Dealers are telling me people are canceling orders that they've had in for months because when they put the order in, it was the rate was two, three, four percent, and now it's eight percent. Um, and that's the last thing the auto industry needs because they're just coming out of this semiconductor shortage that had really hamstrung the industry. Plants were closed. They couldn't get enough chips for the cars. Well, mm. that problem is abating. Inventories are up by 70% from a year ago on car lots right now. But you come in to buy a car and suddenly the cost of financing it, and let's face it, most of us need to borrow to buy a car, has just skyrocketed. You know, um, I guess the main question is a little bit of news you can use there. What cars should people who are considering buying a car or have to buy a car at this point should be going for when you take into account the uh, interest rates and all that? Yeah, I mean, there are some uh, good cars to look at. Uh, hybrids are still a pretty good deal um, if you can't go the full electric vehicle uh, route, which is more expensive. Uh, but there are there are a number of good models that are finally coming back to the lots. That's the thing. That problem was that you'd go to a dealer and the lot would be empty. But now there's finally a selection there. It's just you have to look for auto manufacturers now offering cut rate financing, which is what they're doing. Ford is offering a deal, I think it's 1.9% on pickup trucks in some areas. So you got to look for those cut rate finance deals right now uh, to avoid paying what is now the average car loan is $784 a month. And 16% of car loans are over $1,000 a month. That is just wild how high that is for an average car. Uh, Keith Naughton, thank you so much for that. Thanks, Keith. Thanks.